All right, I am going to be sharing how to create a morning routine that works. If you have a good morning routine, your whole day can go so much better. Hello, Scope Insider. Welcome. Hello, Nick Dillon. Welcome to the scope. I want to know if you guys like your morning routine that you have now. Hello, Sooner. Is there anything about your morning routine or about how your mornings go that you don't like that does not work for you? Maybe their morning routines work great. <laughs> okay. Well, I am going to start talking about how to create a morning routine that works. And we will save this scope for later when people start joining us or for when they watch it on the, um, the review for the next 24 hours. So... Uh, I want to introduce myself. I am Dr. Melanie Wilson, just Melanie, also works, and I am a Christian psychologist turned homeschooling mother of six. I podcast, I don't podcast anymore, sorry. <laughs> I blog at psychowithsix.com, and I have done a lot of uh, blog posts. I did a whole year's worth of blog posts on productivity on Psycho with Six. Every week for an entire year, I tested a different productivity approach. So um, I'm going to show you uh, what the landing page for this looks like. So here we are at Psycho with Six, a year of looking, a year of living productively. So if you go to psychowithsix.com backslash productive dash living, you can find all of my posts on the uh, productivity experiments that I did. I want to talk a little bit more about how to establish a morning routine. And I'm purposefully talking about this in the evening because that is when you start getting ready to have a great morning is the evening before. And I want to share with you six things that you need to have a better morning routine. And unlike a lot of uh, productivity experts, I'm not gonna be talking about, um, you know, you have to get up at this specific time or you have to do this specific thing in order to have a good morning because we're all different. Some of us have uh, uh, small children at home who are waking us up all hours of the night or maybe getting up when we get up in the morning. And it just makes uh, life a little bit more challenging. Some of us go to work um, at, you know, maybe early in the morning and we have limited time in the mornings. Others of us, like myself, have more flexible mornings. Um, maybe like me, you're an entrepreneur. And in the summertime, I have a lot more uh, flexibility. But what we have in common is that we have to set the tone for our day with our morning. And so I'm gonna give you some general principles for how to establish a morning routine. Welcome, the bud. Um, I'm gonna give you some of those general principles that you can apply to your own life. Okay, hello, Sade, um, or Sade. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. <laughs> I probably shouldn't pronounce some of those names, but uh, welcome to uh, this scope. We're talking about six things that you need for a good morning routine to start off your day well. The first reason, I mean the first thing that you need rather, is a reason to get up. This is one of those things that I never hear discussed and it's one of the reasons why a lot of times we have difficulty getting up maybe earlier um, than we normally do and maybe that's something that you want to do. I don't know um, if that's something that uh, those of you who are watching are aspiring to do is to get up earlier. But if you want to do that, the thing that you have to do besides 
going to bed a little bit earlier, setting an alarm, and maybe gradually working up to that is you need to have a reason to get up early or earlier. So what is it that would really excite you and motivate you to get out of bed tomorrow morning even? Um, that's what you need to figure out. And it could be something as simple um, as uh, maybe you have a favorite um, show that you like to watch or there's a book that you're just dying to read and you never have time to read it. Um, welcome to uh, The Scope, the last person who just joined us. Um, but you need to have that reason, something that gets you going um, in the morning. You know, we're all very eager to get out of bed when we're leaving on vacation. And we can, hi, hi, Tommy. <laughs> um, and we need to come up with something that's maybe not quite that exciting. What if I hate everyone in the morning? <laughs> well, you're probably not a morning person, and I get that. Hi, wink. Um, Mo clouding my own children. Oh, including my own children. Well, yeah, I mean, we're not all morning people. But I want to give you some tips that I think will help you um, have a better morning anyway. It may not make you a morning person, but I really believe that it can help. So the first thing that I said was that you need to have a reason to get up in the morning, something that you're interested in, excited about, or, or just something that you enjoy. So hello, uh, cheeses. Welcome to the scope. So that's number one. The second thing, I am, I'm a psychologist, Tommy. The second thing that I think that you need is some water. Um, if you've been sleeping for eight hours, you or seven or six or whatever it is, you haven't been hydrated that entire time. And so that's one of the things that you're going to need when you get up in the morning. Uh, one of the things, oh, St. Louis is your adopted home. Hello. I love St. Louis, absolutely love living in St. Louis. Um, this is my water bottle that has made a huge difference for me. I get this um, filled up with ice and ice water. Oh, okay, your son goes to school. I fill this up in the morning and um, it wakes me up. I'm not a coffee drinker. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but this keeps my water cold because I am an ice water drinker. I know some people don't like ice in their water at all. Um, and this hydro flask will keep ice uh, from melting in this container for 24 hours. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. And I highly recommend it. I feel so much more energy. Okay, you have to have your cup of coffee. Absolutely. I know most people are coffee drinkers. I kind of wish I was. But caffeine and I do not get along <laughs> in numerous ways. So uh, I rely on my ice water to kind of refresh me and wake me up. And I think we all need some hydration in the morning, even, no matter what um, your preferences are. Hello, AJSW. Welcome to the scope. We're talking about things that we need for a morning routine. So a reason to get up, we need some hydration in the morning, and then we need an energizer. Now, for some of you, you've mentioned coffee. Exactly. Coffee is a great energizer for a lot of people. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Actually, the research shows that uh, drinking coffee will definitely help you uh, just be more alert and able to focus. Oh, yes, we're going to get to that push-ups and be more focused at work. So there's nothing wrong with coffee or tea, if you like either of those, um, hello, F-T-H-M-H-M-T. Welcome to the scope. But we need something to energize us. Um, if you're like me, um, you need more than just caffeine or water to energize you, but you actually need some physical activity. Um, I know some people do not, some of my friends who exercise regularly, do not like to exercise first thing um, in the morning. They like to get up and have their coffee and wake up a little bit. I use exercise to wake myself up. So we're all different that way. I wanted to show you one of my favorite workouts to do, uh, Les Mills Combat. I use a lot of videos at home. Um, I do my workouts in my basement and I love that they're short and um, they're fun 
and motivating, but I also love to go to the gym and lift weights. And even better than that, for days when I'm feeling draggy and low energy, I love to go for a walk outside, just a nice walk and listen to um, music. Um, I usually listen to music and not uh, podcasts or audiobooks and those kinds of things, but it is amazing the difference that that will make um, in your morning. You need something to energize you for your routine. I don't know, how, how about you guys? Are you um, morning exercisers or do you prefer to exercise in the afternoon or evening or you don't exercise? Okay, no, no comments on that. That's all right. Okay, after you, um, and I'm not saying that you have to, do, oh, you work out every morning, 7.30 to 9.30. Wow, that's a long workout. And you work out in the morning also. That's excellent. That's excellent. I, I find that if I don't get my workout in in the morning, it becomes less and less likely that I'm going to fit it in. And my morning workout gives me that energy that I need for my whole day. So you need an energizer. Competitive weightlifter, wow, wow. So um, are you saying, um, AJ, that you're a bodybuilder or you're actually lifting a certain amount of weight competitively? Usually C4 wakes me up. I'm not really sure what that means. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Olympic weight. Wow. That is really impressive. So, and you work out in the morning, you said. So you're working out for a, a good period of time there. Okay. C4 is a pre-workout. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, the other thing that I think we need to have a really good morning routine that sets us up for the day is some inspiration. Um, I'm a Christian. So my inspiration really comes from spending time in God's word and in prayer. Um, my current Bible that I'm reading through right now is the, uh, here, just a second. Hello, Luca. This is the John MacArthur Study Bible. All I do is read um, just two pages a day. I read just two pages a day and I read the study notes at the bottom and it's amazing, and I, I get so many more insights. I've read the Bible through a number of times before. Hello, Al. Um, but I love having that inspiration of just reading reading that. And then I spend some time in prayer. I have a prayer app on my phone that really helps keep me focused and directed. But um, maybe you don't have time for that, you think? Um, and, you know, you maybe you just want to do like a quick little devotion. I love this devotional by Bill Bright uh, called Promises. Um, I have a sister-in-law who is a missionary who knew Bill Bright personally, and it's an excellent, excellent devotional. You could listen to devotionals on your way to work, however. Um, you could listen to them while you work out. Um, so there are a lot of ways that you can get inspiration. If you're not a Christian, then you need to find some inspirational materials, things that you can enjoy, either audio or um, written that you can enjoy in the morning to really help you stay focused on what's most important in your life in the morning. Okay, so that's inspiration. The fifth thing that we need for our morning routine is some sense of accomplishment. The most important um, time of day for me to get things done is in the morning. Hello, Lunker. Um, if, I, if I spend my morning just sleeping in and I don't um, do anything that I feel proud of, um, I tend to kind of waste the rest of my day. So for me, the morning is the time when I really focus on my most important goals. Um, I'm working on a homeschooling curriculum, so I make sure that I spend writing time right after I work out um, writing on that curriculum. That is my most important thing, and I feel like if I did any writing then, I've accomplished what's most important to me. Of course, that's going to vary for all of us. Um, maybe it's just, you know, knocking out some things that you have been procrastinating on. Maybe it's decluttering. Um, Whatever it is, makes your whole day just drag when you oversleep. 
<laughs> Isn't that the truth? And I have really been struggling with that, AJ, um, this summer because um, our whole household tends toward the night owl, um, you know, characteristic. And so people have been staying up late and then we're sleeping in late and I hate it. And I, I am determined to get back to my normal morning routine, even if I adjust it an hour later, um, because it, it makes such a difference. When you get the most important things in your day done first thing, you can feel great. Even if something happens to interrupt you, um, you know, you get waylaid, uh, you get stuck in traffic or, or whatever happens, at least you know you've accomplished one of the most important things in your day and it makes such a difference. Okay, so we've gone over the five, five of the six things that I think you need for the perfect morning routine so far. A reason to get up, some hydration, an energizer of some sort, whether it's coffee or exercise or both, preferably, some inspiration, something accomplished, you've actually done something that's really important. And then the sixth one is fuel. You need to um, fuel your body so that you have the energy to get through the rest of your day. And of course, it's better if you eat healthy food. I have to admit that I'm not the healthiest eater anymore. I used to be, but I became kind of a food fanatic. <laughs> I spent eight years as pretty much of a of a nut when it came to food. So now I, I pretty much just eat what I want to eat, but it's really important um, to make it as nutritious as you can. Um, hello, Ro. Um, and I found for myself, I mean, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, I can understand why you wouldn't want this, but I found that some protein really seems to help me go further in the day with my fuel than if I just load up on carbs um, in the morning. And my next podcast, I haven't decided exactly when I'm going to do this because I am in St. Louis, Missouri, where um, it has been raining nonstop for days and days and days. And tomorrow we're supposed to have all sun. <laughs> and uh, Sunday is Father's Day, so that's going to be my husband's day. Um, Monday is supposed to be all sun, too. Hello from Cleveland, Ohio. Very nice to meet you. Um, and I would love to do uh, another scope where I'm going to share a really yummy, easy, refreshing beginner green smoothie that you can make. Warrensburg, Missouri. All right. Really close. Um, so I will share that with a um, on a future scope, but I'm going to just let the weather dictate that to me and I'm not going to commit to a certain time, but I will do it soon. And I would love it if you would share this podcast, if you would follow me um, for future scopes, because I'm, I said podcast, sorry about that. <laughs> I used to have a podcast, so I, I keep tripping up on that. Uh, but I absolutely love Periscope. I love meeting people like you and um, sharing with people and learning from people like you. So um, if you have any questions, I will take those. And if not, we will um, sign off and say goodbye for the evening. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and a great morning tomorrow. Uh oh, AJ came back. I guess AJ got booted off. Any questions before we, we say goodbye for tonight? All right. Well, thanks so much for uh, joining me for this scope. Have, oh, thank you for that heart. Oh, I appreciate that so much. And I hope you have a wonderful morning uh, tomorrow, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.